Yes. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. It is on. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Oh, you you really think so? Well, with the horse that you so lovingly bestowed upon us, um, on, I highly boy. doubt you're going to be winning any races of any kind. Although, it's a little unfortunate because, although technically this is the best horse in the game, Let's go. the stats have actually been nerfed to match hers, so you guys are more or less on even playing ground, so... Alright, Bonnie. So what you got, shall we? On the count of three. Three, two, one... Wait! That's not how you count to three! <laughs> I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! Uh... You don't know me at all, Miss McFarlane! Okay. Yeah. So, so this race isn't particularly difficult. You just want to be very wary of your horse's stamina on the left there. As long as you're holding A, you won't be able to, more or less, have your horse buck you off. So. <laughs> Are you saving the best for last? God. So, yeah, it's more or less a really easy race. Should I wait for you to catch up? Jesus, Marston, shit talking like no tomorrow. <laughs> uh, whoa! She hasn't even said anything yet. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it's probably in your best interest to stay on the path and the road, if at all possible. But, whoop, turning, how do you turn? Cheater! Whoa! There we go. Alright, I hate that bridge part. There she goes, now that she's up ahead. Alright. So yeah, this is just to kind of get you... <laughs> so this is more or less just to get you accustomed to riding a horse, which is what you're going to be doing a lot of, and whoa, 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 that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Alright, I'm just not used to a horse of this magnitude being this slow, because later on we do get really good racehorses, it's just this one is just like, not great, all the stats right now, so, not necessarily. But you don't get anything for winning or losing, so it's not really a big deal. Wow, I could be taken in a myriad of different ways. Alright. So. But yeah, it's not too bad. You will be indulging in other racehorses and things later, so. Or races with horses, so. No worries there. Ah, the stamina refill is so slow and not good. <laughs> But eventually it will come to trust us, and it will be our noble steed. Alright. And once we return back to town, we will, we will win, or to the ranch, rather. Thank god they let us put all these miniature fires everywhere. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, man. That was fun! Why are you out sure. of breath? <laughs> you know... You should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Yeah, if you say so, I guess. I mean, I was going to, regardless of what you said. God, aren't I the cool kid? <laughs> Casually leaning against the electrical pole. Okay, so Marshal Johnson is available in Armadillo, which is where we came from prior to heading to Fort Mercer. So, what you're going to be seeing me do a lot is heading to the map and doing this neat little thing called setting waypoints, and this will help you get to areas pretty quick. Although, if you'd like, you can stick around and do a couple of other Bonnie McFarland missions, which I would recommend because each person that we engage in missions with will unlock certain things, so eventually by continuing our horse endeavors with Bonnie, we'll be able to do things like collect lassos and learn more about racing horses and stuff. Uh, these purple areas... Oh, Deadly Assassin? What? It's kind of unusual. Um, these are optional areas, and these are things that we don't necessarily need to do yet. And um, those will stay there until the end of the game. You don't have to worry about them, but this is most of, I guess... Mexico and the western United States in 1911, so 
We'll be dealing with the southern half much later, but for now, I say we should head off to Marshall Johnson, and we'll deal in some missions there, thusly collect some cash, and so on. So, we'll collect our noble horse here, excellent, and we'll be on our merry way, or wait, should we take the thing with... Do we go with Bonnie? I don't remember. There's this here. I think she wants company, actually. Maybe we should go with her. All right, I'm gonna hit you up, save you for later. So, thank you. If you press up on the D-pad, you'll actually automatically summon them by whistling. So, it's kind of nice. But let's go. Let's go t take Bonnie's advice and get a nice little scenic look at the Rotar Armadillo. Armadillo, USA. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Sexism jokes. Take the reins, Mr. Marston. Okay, so this is another aspect of driving that we have to deal with, and that's with wagons. Wagons are pretty strange. They act as chariots, more or less, and there's a couple of missions based around this, but for the most part, it's not too bad. So. Is there a problem, Mr. Marston? Can we get going? Yeah, yeah, You're I'm going. better, <laughs> considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. Oh, wow, thank you. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, it's been five minutes. <laughs> Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. <laughs> oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Man, they have, like, a very modern vocabulary. It's a little absurd, actually. But it's kind of refreshing. I don't know. It's cool. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road, and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Mr. McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go wake and safe. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Mr. McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. So Armadillo really is that far away, all things considered. It's a pretty short drive, more or less, but I don't know. Alright. Whoa! <laughs> the rocky ending there. Alright. And this is where we're going to be spending a lot of most of this first so this couple hours. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Cool. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Um, okay, I guess. Are you, are you saying he's just gonna give me medicine? <laughs> So, doctor's office, an area you probably won't have to visit very much because, as you can tell, there isn't much of a health gauge to be seen. Uh, it, for the most part, regenerates, but you can choose to give yourself an extra boost, amongst other things, so. Oh, oh, okay. How's it going? So, <laughs> the thank you, I guess. Uh, we can purchase a couple of things here. An apple, one apple for one dollar. If that's not truer to life, then I don't know what is. So we got chewing tobacco. This is actually really good and very easy to find. And the medicine restores your health. 
Fortunately, it's for free, so thank you. <laughs> All right, will do. Next time I get shot, the first man I'll see. <laughs> cool. And we have medicine and consumable items in our satchel, so we will be able to have those there as well as our kit. Our basic campsite basically allows us to sit down, make camp, save, change your outfits, and fast travel. So that's really good. And then provisions. These are basically like the hides and the raw food we'll pick off off of animals that we hunt. Yes, hunting is an integral part of this game and something I will be exploring a little bit more in depth later, but for now let's go talk to our potential love interest number two. So, oh yeah, and there it goes. The more we get injured, the more chances are we will die. That's typically not a good thing. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Implying I need a woman's help. <laughs> wow. Jesus. <laughs> All right, so they're going to be talking about stagecoaches. We don't really need to worry too much about that. I feel like they're a little bit more hassle than I would really care to expect. So, oh, we can purchase and rent properties. A little bit expensive for the time being, but for now, let's see what we can do around town. We currently have zero dollars to our name, so not a lot we can do there. So let's go talk to the marshal and hopefully get some cash money influx heading our way here soon. Also open up a couple of different opportunities for cash, so let's do it, shall we? Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you! Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? <laughs> I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. Dickhead. <laughs> What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. 
The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. <laughs> okay, boy. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain, Marston, but I like you. <laughs> You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. <laughs> Meanwhile, inmate number one is dead. Come on, then, Marston. Follow me. All right. So time to take on the hoods for a little bit. And uh, you want to be a little bit careful when going around town because... Of a couple of reasons. Led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the range these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. Mm, whatever you say. There's the dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. <laughs> All right, so let's go, whistle a horse. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. And Walton's gonna be way over there. Are you coming? Here he comes. Yeah. We need to come up with a name for our little horsey friend. So here. There we go. So do not kill Walton. That is a big no-no if you do. Oh man, this music. Oh. Walton's as bad as you say he is. Why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. <laughs> Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's the start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Alright. So we may yet get into our first shootout. So, it's gonna be good stuff. Because he's gonna actually gonna be hiding out in this house that we can actually buy eventually, and... Uh, I don't know. Something or other. It was just... Hold up, Marshall. He must be at the old Pleasant's house. Probably best we take it on foot from here. Okay. Hey. Nice. Okay, so our horse here has begun being loyal to us, so that's really nice. Thank you. 